afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Sir, I think this chapter will be finished till today. Uh, yeah, we will do some, see the questions in this chapter are usually slightly longer. Okay. Uh, so we will do some questions. Okay. In this, uh, I don't intend to do every question from the book in the class. Okay. Because most of the questions are very similar, unlike probability where we wanted to do all the questions in the class, but we will do maybe about 50% of the questions in the class. So it okay. means two, three classes. Okay. okay. In the meantime, I think uh, your other remaining chapter areas of the circle will also be finished or it might already be finished. So your course was... I already finished. Okay, wonderful. So now, uh, essentially, let's say we finish it by Tuesday latest. Okay. Uh, then also, then sir, we will continue science. Sorry. Then after completing of maths, yeah. we will continue science. Uh, I'll discuss. I'll discuss with the uh, with the management that what's the plan. Either we will continue with the science. We 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 can uh, in science. How many chapters are pending for you? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, physics. Me one chapter is remaining only. Which one? The human eye and the colorful bird. Okay, so that is the only pending chapter and in the, um, uh, okay, and in uh, chemistry and biology? Chemistry is finished. Chemistry is finished, bio is also finished, is it? Or it's going on the yes. last chapter? Yes, sir. last chapter is going on. Which one is the last chapter they are doing? Uh, heredity and evolution is going on. Oh, oh, that is the last chapter. Okay, okay. Okay, good then. So, uh, yeah, we I'll discuss uh, with the other teachers also. Either we can do okay. the colorful, the colorful world chapter, the human eye. Okay, or we could do the revision of maths. So, whichever way uh, is favorable to all, we will do that. Okay, so uh, please everybody switch on your videos and then we will start with doing the questions of the statistics. Yes, Sachin, uh, Shweta, Rudra, Rudra Pratap, you have a section or roll number, likhiye, when attendance lagane mein problem aayegi. Mukul, Jagrati, Himanshu, Tanisha. Let us have video on Kaliji. We will proceed. Abhi very few students have anyway joined, but you have a video on Kaliji. Saturday usually is a slightly lower attendance. Thoda chutti ke mood mein a jate, sab, is it? Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please switch on your videos. Still, a lot of students have not switched on the video. Jagrati, Mukul, Pankaj, Priyanshi. Please switch on your videos, beta. Don't. Uh, Let's not waste time on that, okay? So I'll check after two, three minutes now, but let's start the questions, okay? So we will do first the mean questions, okay? Relate. The distribution below shows a number of wickets taken by bowlers in one day cricket matches. Find the mean number of wickets by choosing a suitable. Anchal, apne ko mute pe rakhiye beta, thoda noise aa Oh, yeah. okay, great. Okay, Thanks. sir. 
Thank you. Find the mean number of wickets by choosing a suitable method. What does the mean signify? Okay. So usually hum in questions ko kya karte hain? Hum column wise table banate hain, right? Just me, uh, you know, uh, but I will just do it on a horizontal table. But, you know, usually hum vertical table banate hain, just to save some time. So hum apne x size likh lete hain, kya hai? 20 plus 60 by 2, right? Which is 40. Okay. And it will be 80 here. It will be 250 by 25. 125. Okay. And this is 400. 200. 150. Or 200. So 300. Sorry. 300 and it is 400. Right? These are our X size. F we are already given. Okay. Now, how would we do it? Okay. Which is direct method is not a great method, right? Because these numbers are fairly big numbers. So let's do the assumed mean method at least because the step deviation method is not in the course this year, right? So in the questions, we will not use it, okay? We will just use assumed mean method because that is what you have to practice. So let's assume the mean. So what is a good mean to assume? Something which is somewhere in between, right? So uh, it's a... Um, you know, so it's ma'am 16 or 12. नहीं नहीं मीन जो है हम ये तो फ्रीक्वेंसीज हैं मीन इनमें से चूज करेंगे यस सर हमने ऊपर देखा नहीं है हाँ ठीक है तो लेट्स चूज दिस एस आर ओके दैट इज वन ऑप्शन अनदर ऑप्शन इज दिस व्हिच वन वुड यू प्रेफर टू यूज बोथ आर ओके देर इज नथिंग रॉंग इन यूजिंग एनी वन ओके the benefit of, I'll tell you the benefits and the disadvantages. If you choose this one, 200, the benefit is calculations are easier because you have to add, subtract a full 100 number, okay? But if you, but you will get more negative terms. So your final answer will be in negative, which you have to subtract from the assumed mean, but the calculations are likely to be slightly easier. So let's work with this. Okay. So we have chosen, let's write it here. A is equal to 200. Assumed mean is 200. So now we have our DIs difference, right? So 40 minus 200 is 160, but minus. This is minus 120. This is minus 75, this is zero, this is 100, and this is two. Okay. Now it's very clear that, you know, uh, we will benefit by, uh, you know, at least dividing it by five further. But we will not do that because that's not what is in the course. So we will just do the assumed mean and we will find now what? Fi di this into this okay so what is 7 into um, 160 it is uh, 0 right and now 5 into 120 is uh, Minus six hundred, so three minus twelve hundred. Okay, this is the easiest, and this is two hundred and six hundred. Okay, so let's just add that separately. This is eight hundred, and let's add these separately. The negative number. This is 1800, uh, so 29, 
right am i right so now let's add this and this what will we get minus 21 20. right this is our final sum now what is our mean mean is equal to sum of differences by sum of frequencies plus the assumed mean okay so minus 2120 by what is the sum of frequencies 12 plus 28 40 45 right and assumed mean is 200 what is our answer now? Okay, this is not fully divisible. So let's do 200 minus. Four, right? Four. Let's do it. Two, one. Go by six. Seven, seven. It will go by seven. I'm sorry. Three, one, five. One forty seven point one. Okay, so it will be one fifty two point nine. Okay, this is a mean. Understood? Yes. Okay, so uh, I'm just looking at the video compliance. But a video on career, Kuch Logo Ka Bibi Nahi Hai, Jagrati, Mukul, Pankaj, Arun Kaushik, Anchal, Simran, Yog yes, sir. Yogesh. Apna video on career, beta. Sir, up to on it? Ha, abhi on Okay, sir. Arun, Mukul, Pankaj, Prashant. Better video on career of Pankaj. Okay. One minute. Avi Karnay, sir. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Now let's do this question. Consider the following distribution of daily wages of 50 workers of a factory. Okay. Find the mean daily wages of the workers of the factory by using an appropriate method. So, subse pehle hum kya karenge? We will, let's do it in the vertical way like we will do. So, class intervals bana lete. Kya hai? 500 minus, 500 to 520, 520 to 540, 542, 560, 560 to 580, and 580 to 600. Okay, one thing that you need to continue is continuous, right? Which it is. Usually, most of the questions, 99% questions, will have a continuous distribution matlab iska jo higher limit hai wo iska lower limit hona chahiye agar wo nahi hai to aapko convert karna hai theek hai to ye hamara class interval hai isse hum apne x size likh lenge right what is it 520 
this is 510, right? So this one is simple with class intervals as constant. Okay, so we can do it a bit faster. Yeh humare x size aage. Now frequencies are 12, 14, 8, 6, 10, right? We know it should add up to 50, but just so that we didn't make a mistake, let's do 14 with 20, okay? So this adds up. Now, what will we do? Let's declare our A. Which is a good A to take here? Okay, let's take 550 as A. Okay, because that is a middle term, exactly the middle term. So 550 is a good idea here. So let's write it here. A is equal to 550. Now let's find our DIs. Okay, so it is 110. 510 minus 550, which is minus 40. Okay, so this will be minus 20. This will be zero and this will be 20 and this will be 40. Okay, now we have to find FIDI. So what is this? This is 480 minus, this is minus 240. This is a zero. This is a 120, this is a 40. Okay, so let's just add these up. 280, right? No, 280. So this is minus 760, and this is uh, 520, which when we do is minus 240. Okay, so we have got the summation of FIDI here. So we can now write the formula mean is equal to A plus summation FIDI by summation FI. Okay, A is 550. But this is a negative number, so minus 240 by 50. 50 minus 40. 5, 40, 5, 1, Okay. Got that? Any doubts? Yes, sir. Uh, sir. Okay, wonderful. The following distribution shows the daily pocket allowance of children of a locality. The mean pocket allowance is 18 rupees 18. Find the missing frequency. So it's me a missing frequency ka question, right? So how will we do this? Okay, so ye karne ke do tarikhe hai, lekin sabse asaan tarikha ye hai ki hum mean nikal lein with the given frequency. Okay, hum mean nikal lein, wo f ki terms mein aa jayega aur usko equal to 18 rakh lein. Okay, so let's do that. We will make our class intervals. 11 to 13, 13 to 15, 15 to 17, 17 to 19, 19 to 21, 21 to 23, and 23 to 25. Okay, so it is uh, X size are straightforward. It's 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and 24. Okay. And frequencies are 7, 6, 9, 13, F, 
five, four. Okay. Let's assume the mean as. What is the easiest assumption here? Let's assume it to be eighteen. Anyway, we know it will be eighteen, right? So the calculation will be simpler. So what are di's? Di will be minus six, minus four, minus two, zero, two, four, six. Okay. Now fi di is equal to minus forty two, minus twenty four. Minus eighteen. Minus eighteen. Right. Two f and twenty. Twenty. And twenty four. Twenty four. Right. We have to add them up so I can get rid of these. Right. In the rough, you can do it. I wouldn't suggest you do such cancellation in your fair work. Right. But just for ease of calculation, I'm doing it here. Okay, so adding these two will give me sixty minus sixty and minus sixty. So this becomes minus forty. So the sum is two f minus forty. Okay, now mean is equal to a plus sigma f i d i by sigma f. Okay, now mean is eighteen is equal to assumed mean is also eighteen plus Sigma f i d i is two f minus forty by the sigma f i. Okay, I don't even have to add. I mean, I can add it up, but there is no need. I'll tell you the reason because these and these gets cancelled out, right? So what I get is minus forty by sigma f i is equal to zero, which means two f minus forty is equal to zero. Which implies f is equal to forty by two twenty. Okay, so the missing frequency is twenty. Okay, so this was a slightly different question. Okay, um, but not a difficult question. Okay, let's do the next question. so uh, find out the concentration of sulfur dioxide in the air in parts per million that is ppm the data was collected for 30 localities in a certain city and is presented below okay so ye hamara fi's hain jo hamare paas hai you can always check if it adds up to 30 right To be sure, thirteen plus twenty to twenty-four, twenty-eight to thirty, which is great. So we know this is thirty. Now let's write our x size. So which is zero point zero two. Zero point zero six and zero point one zero, zero point one four. Zero point one eight. Zero point two. Okay. Now, what should we do? I mean, what is the best way for us? Assume mean is also, as such, not needed. We are dealing with numbers like this, right? It's we can just do a direct method here. That is good enough for us, right? so we will do a direct method here there is no need to complicate life okay 0.54 one 0 2.28 1 72 right 0.72.44 okay so 
2.96 okay so what is the mean x i f i by 2.96 by 30 okay which is uh, 9 point Zero point nine six eight seven by ten. So the answer is zero seven parts per million. Okay, this is our answer. Okay, so sometimes direct method is also quite useful. Okay, we should not go with the um, conception in the mind that direct method is not a good idea. Sometimes it is easier than doing all the extra calculation for assumed mean and step deviation, etc. Okay. Is that clear? Any doubts in this? No, sir. Okay, great. Okay, now let's do some more questions. A wicket taken by a, a bowler in 10 cricket matches are as follows. Okay. Find the mode of the data. How will we do this? Sir, is my group nahi hai. Is three aayega. Is my group nahi hai. Yes. So three Q I ga answer. Take it. You are right. There are no groups. No groups matlab. This is raw data. So we have to do what we have to do in this way. हमें अपनी फ्रीक्वेंसी टेबल बनानी पड़ेगी ओके सो रेंज क्या है हमारी जीरो है सबसे बड़ा नंबर यहां पे क्या है 6 है तो लेट्स मेक अ रेंज द फ्रीक्वेंसी टेबल राइट नंबर ऑफ विकेट्स ओके आर 0 1 2 सर आंसर 2 4 हां 5 6 6 से ऊपर तो कुछ है नहीं अब देखते हैं कि 2 के आगे वी कैन पुट दिस 6 के आगे वी कैन पुट दिस 4 के आगे 5 0 एंड देन 2 एंड देन 1 एंड देन 3 एंड राइट क्लियरली 2 इज द विनर राइट सो द आंसर इज 2 विकेट्स Okay, so two wickets is the mode. A survey conducted on 20 households in a locality by a group of students resulted in the following frequency table for the number of family members in a household. Okay, find the mode of the data. What is the mode of this data? सबसे पहले क्या निकालेंगे हम? देखिए यहाँ पे groups बन चुके हैं. They are groups, right? These are the groups. So ये group data है. तो सबसे पहले हमें क्या निकालेंगे group data में? 
सबसे पहले क्या निकालते हैं मॉडल क्लास विच इज द मॉडल क्लास विच वन इज द मॉडल क्लास हेयर देखिए हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी जिसकी है बस वो मॉडल है दिस इज द हाइएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी सो मॉडल क्लास इज थ्री टू फाइव राइट नाउ लेट्स राइट अ फॉर्मूला फॉर मोड मोड का फॉर्मूला होता है एल प्लस एफ वन माइनस एफ जीरो बाय एफ वन माइनस एफ जीरो प्लस एफ वन माइनस एफ into the class word okay to ab hum apni sari values yahan likh lete hain l kya hai l hai iski lower limit yani theek hai ab ab f0 f1 f2 likh lete hain kya kya hai f1 jo hai the frequency the modal class so wo 8 hai उससे पहले वाली सेवन है उसके बाद वाली टू है ठीक है और अब हमारे को क्या चाहिए एच चाहिए बस एच क्या है क्लास वेथ क्लास वेथ थ्री माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू टू ऑल ऑफ देम आर टू सो एच इज इक्वल टू टू नाउ ऑल वी हैव टू डू इज पुट इन द वैल्यूज एल इज इक्वल टू थ्री प्लस दिस माइनस दिस इज वन वन प्लस This minus this is six into two, okay, which is three plus two by seven, okay. So we can leave our answer as three two by seven, or we can simplify it a little bit. Okay. Okay, we can do this. And what is the unit of this? What is the unit of this? Uh, Rudra Pratap, can you keep yourself on mute? Lot of noise behind you, but yeah, thank you. So. अब इसके बाद हमें एक यूनिट लिखनी चाहिए मोड इज सम फॉर्म ऑफ एक्स आई राइट तो क्या यूनिट होगी ये इसकी यूनिट ये फैमिली साइज है राइट फैमिली साइज इज मेंबर्स राइट सो थ्री पॉइंट टू एट मेंबर्स इज द मॉडल फैमिली साइज Let's do this question on more. The marks distribution of thirty students in a mathematics examination are given in table thirteen fourteen point three of example one. Okay. Find the mode of this data. Okay, so I will have to just look at this thing. Fourteen. Example one. Let me bring the table. Just wait for a minute. Thirty uh, students. Okay. this was our table right ye yeah. hai this is our table i'm just copying it here theek hai find the mode of the data okay mm -hmm. sorry 
I'll have to again cut and paste. Okay. Now let's do it. Find the mode of this data. Subse pehle humko kya nikalna hai? Modal class. Which one is the modal class? Which, which one is the modal class here? Sir, 40 to 55. 40 to 55, right? So this is our modal class. Okay. So let's just quickly write our values, right? Or let me write the formula first. Mode is equal to L plus F1 minus F0, F1 minus F0 plus F1 minus F0 into h right so ab hum apne sare values likh lete l is equal to 40 h is equal to 50 and f0 f1 and f2 right so f1 is 7 f0 is 3 and f2 is 6 let's put in the values more is equal to 40 plus f1 minus f0 is 4 by 4 plus this minus this is 1 into 50. Okay, so 40 plus 4 by 5 into 15. Okay, so 52 marks. A is the mode. Okay. We had also found the mean, etc. If you have done this example before, right? Then we can compare it. We will not find the mean and the mode median here, right? We will do those in their respective questions. Okay. So this is all. Uh, we will stop here uh, because after this, we will do the questions of mean. So I think uh, median, sorry. After this, we will do some questions of median. So my sense is that in the next class, this uh, chapter will get over. Okay. The attendance uh, is very low today. It's very, very low. It's just 16. There were other students who left in the middle of the class. Okay. So, uh, not an issue. Ensure you join the class on Monday and we will finish this chapter, okay? Have a nice uh, weekend. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye.